This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV. We're here in New Orleans at the International Workboat Show, and we're very pleased to be joined by Tom Schickel of Bosch Rexroth. Tom, it's a busy show. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. Okay. Tom, just to start things off, can you just give us a, a background, uh, your title and your area of responsibility? Sure. My name's Tom Schickel, and so I'm manager of marine and, and, uh, and other segments of the offshore uh, uh, group, and also we also handle power gen and some of the uh, the other uh, things with the, the Navy and the Coast Guard applications as well come in and fall into our group. So, Tom, obviously the Bosch Rexroth name is very well known globally. Um, again, if you could give us an overview of the company, but more importantly, the sector of the company that you work for. Sure. So, yep, Bosch Rexroth, we're, we're very big. We've been established here in the United States, uh, came over from Germany uh, in the late 1960s and got established here. Uh, but yes, our, our product portfolio for hydraulics and electronic controls is, is quite vast. Uh, I'm based out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and that's where kind of our, our hydraulics factory is for, for valves, but also what we're doing with customization. That's taking our, our whole product portfolio and customizing and integrating into that next tier of of machinery that goes in uh, to drive control larger operators and, and OEMs that we uh, have as clients. So obviously, as as the company you you do, you have a tremendous, obviously a tremendous portfolio of individual products. Why don't we dive a little deeper into your systems capability? I mean, can you can you address some of the solutions that you're being asked to provide um, on, quite frankly, on both the marine and the offshore industry today? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so we do a lot with the power unit systems. So a lot is just taking, you know, a hydraulic pump and an electric motor and putting that through with a reservoir system and then all the valving. We uh, also manufacture our own manifold assemblies at Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, where we also build the power unit systems. And we can do anything from a small power pack all the way up to a very large turnkey system. Mm -hmm. So I, I think, uh, you know, we all saw the, the, the LNG carriers that Toad had, mm -hmm. and so we've actually got some power units uh, on that that work with the regasification systems on the LNG. Okay. So that was a very nice project to have, and I think very high profile that we've, we've seen at the show uh, in the last couple of years as well. So that's that's so one example, and then also we have a controls group that can put together all the electronics and the smarts of those hydraulics as well. Tom, a lot in our pages, and I don't know if it's directly relevant to your product portfolio or your solution prop portfolio, but we talk about digitalization, the internet of things, um, cybersecurity. Yeah. Um, does this impact your day-to-day -day business? Um, or I guess, can you just give an overview of how it is or could, could potentially impact your business? Yeah. No, I, I think that's very big. I think a lot of companies are, are looking forward to that and, and saying, hey, the internet of things, so uh, we need to do more as far as getting ahead and, and and getting that hybrid where the hydraulic systems and the electronics world are coming together to merge into to a single product. So, and, and it's really getting that additional intelligence. And I think that's where the value is on what people are looking for is uh, to be able to, uh, to, you know, predictive maintenance. All right, can, can we monitor the health of our machinery and the factory floors and, and in the vessels that we have and be able to know, hey, uh, this part of uh, this component is, is, you know, in this stage of its lifetime, and now it's time to start arranging to, to get a replacement or get a service technician in to take a look at it. So I, I think that's valuable. Uh, so it, it goes in and, and, and basically we're starting to do that on the filtration monitoring. So make sure that the hydraulic systems, is everything looking good? Are we picking up vibrations in certain areas that are indicative of, of a failure that's uh, imminently uh, less than a month away or something to that end? And that's where we're trying to get in. Um, I, I think we're very much in the infancy of it and the market's starting to, to look at it. So. Uh, my recommendation would be is, is hey, if you have a, a problem child uh, piece of machinery, that might be a good one where just to kind of stick your toe in the water yep. and look to just try and evaluate it on, on that one machine before you try to you know do a whole decision on the whole factory. Because I think a lot of uh, the industry right now is just starting to implement it. Yeah. And so, uh, um, but it's, it's still kind of getting everything with the cloud services. And like you said, the cybersecurity too. Um, there's still a lot of question with, with a lot of industries too on, hey, do we really want to be adopting this so quickly and what happens uh, if someone can hack in from the outside? So uh, I had a gentleman explain to me, hey, yeah, it's, it's great if you want to you know, hook something up to your lights in your house because if someone hacks in and decides to mess with you turning your lights on and off, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. But hey, if, you're, you know, if someone's going to be uh, turning or on and off or over speeding a, a turbine, that's a different story. So. 
Absolutely. Tom, this is a busy show. I know you're a busy guy. I very much appreciate your time. Oh, no, thanks very much for having me. Uh, this is Craig Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV.